Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, the energy was crazy over the weekend, and I didn't get as many done as I had wanted to do, so I'm just working down working down the list here. So anyway, this is for you and the other person for the week of July 6th through the 12th. Okay, keep in mind the timing is fluid. Oh, we got a card that's flipped over here. I gotta fix it. It's the devil, the devil. So that, I didn't realize that was the case. Um, and the devil is that kind of energy. So you gotta be, that happened at the beginning of your reading. So I'm not sure what is going on. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I didn't realize that was the case. I didn't know there was a, that was flipped over. I didn't know there was a flip out. I didn't know that that was going in the wrong direction. Remember, everything that comes out of my mouth is part of the reading for you. Everything that happens is part of the reading for you. Um, so something to do with obsession or addictions or whatever may be affecting you this week. Anyhow, let's get back to this reading. So what I would like you to do is focus on one person. You, you're asking about somebody, okay? And you want you want to know how they are feeling, okay, or what their intentions are, or what's going on with them, whatever you are. You have your mind on one person, but keep in mind, if there's somebody else that is affecting your energy, they may come up in this reading. And so I'm going to say that this is your side because that's the way that I do it. This is going to be the overall energy and this is going to be the other person. The sides can be reversed. Use your um, judgment, okay? You are going to have to be using your judgment this week. You're the first ones that I have said to use your judgment. So you're going to be needing to use your judgment this week in regards to a person that um, all is not as it seems, okay? Because that devil is as all is not as it seems. But anyway, let's get started. What do we have for Libra? Oh my goodness, these ones fell out. You know, i got to take them when that happens. We're going to put them back in, but we're going to look at them. Two pentacles reversed. Seven of pentacles. Now, this is uh, a fall, okay? There's a fall or, or a slip. Now, this, this season is over. It's time to go someplace else. This is also letting go, okay? The two of pentacles reversed. There's a misalignment here. There's a misalignment and we have somebody here that has been trying to hang on. They've been trying to do too much, trying to not let go. Okay. But this season is over. It's time to go someplace else. Okay. It is literally time to go someplace else. There's no more growth here. Okay. The king of cups reversed. Could be, you could be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. And then we have the two of cups. So this is about a partnership. So the King of Cups reverse is somebody that is emotionally unavailable, okay? This person doesn't have good intentions, okay? Um, they may be obsessive. This person may be obsessive. They're withdrawn. Could be you. This is, this is very emotional, okay? Emotional over a connection. Um, but there is at least one individual here that is not... Uh, being genuine with their feelings, put it that way. They're withdrawn, they're secretive, they're closed off, they're probably not communicating. They may be in another partnership. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna we're gonna pick this back up and start over. So what do we have for Libra for the week ahead? Ten of Wands. This is the connection or the resolution. This is overwhelming. Okay, the Ten of Wands is overwhelming. It's trying to do too much and it's also holding on to something which is is holding you down you are being held down by something that you need to let go of or the person that you are dealing with is this is overwhelming this is a challenge somebody is trying to prove themselves okay that's the overall energy between you and this other person this is a burden somebody's hanging on to some sort of baggage Page of Pentacles reversed. Now I'm saying that this is your side. Que Three of Swords reversed. And the Four of Swords reversed. So this is like a dead end. Okay, there's there's been a, a break. There's, there's been some sort of break time or sickness or illness or something that has probably pushed somebody away or, or 
or even it, it could have been fed up. Somebody was fed up. They were exhausted. They gave up. This is this is giving up. It really is. This is leaving the past hurts behind, moving forward on the road to recovery. This is definitely overwhelming. So we, and if this is you, this is starting to live again, deciding to live again. This was a foolish mistake. Somebody lost track. They went down the wrong path. You know, try, they, they chose the wrong path. Okay. And it caused them a lot of heartache. It caused them a lot of hurt and pain. Okay, so I feel as, I mean, Three of Swords reversed. This is leaving the past hurts behind, something that nearly killed you. You know, it was very, very painful. That probably caused you some sort of um, distress, okay? Um, it's like a near-death experience here, okay? This is, this is a very painful experience with these two cards. This Page of Pentacles reversed is lack of commitment, foolish, lacking common sense. Some This is a dead end. These are both cards of dead end. Somebody foolishly went down a road that, you know, was a dead end. It, it was. And it's like they've been trying to, you know, break through that barrier that can't be broken through. This is very unhealthy. It's like an unhealthy obsession. Somebody definitely lost track. They lost sight of, you know, a brighter future, you know. Um, hmm. Refusing to explore new opportunities as well. We have a very stubborn energy here that, you know, hung on to a painful situation. You know, something. somebody got stabbed. I mean, they got stabbed in the heart, okay? This is very heart-wrenching, okay? Um, but it's over with the three of swords reversed. It's like the end of suffering. It's, it's time to leave it behind. So I feel like you are, well, I'm going to have to get some more cards. I'm going to get one more card for you before I go over to the other side. Page of cups reversed. Now this is, uh, unrequited love. This is a bubble burst. This is obsessed as well. We have a drama queen here that has been rejected and, uh, may have been infatuated um, this is definitely infatuation holding on. So this is, whether it's you or the other person, this is infatuation. It really is. Anyway, let's talk about this side. Two of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Whoever you are dealing with has another person in the Page of Swords. And you may not have wanted to accept it. Um... Now this is a message. This is a message that you don't want to accept or you don't want to hear. Um, whoever you are dealing with um, is dealing, going through some conflicts in their life. They have low self-esteem. They have low self-confidence. They are very forceful. They're indecisive. Uh, they're going back and forth between two avenues. They have two choices, you and another person, and they can't decide. I feel as though they're, they're watching you. They are. They're watching you. They're interested in you, but they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what they want. They are definitely dealing with another person that is probably, it's probably a, uh, a sexual connection of some sort. Um, this person has some sort of control over them, whoever you're, you're asking about. Um, this person is very forceful, very manipulative, lies to them. Uh, this is whoever you're dealing with. You're dealing with a person that is dealing with another person. This is their other person. Their other person is, um, malicious and they're controlling them. They're controlling your person's actions. And I feel like your person is very confused. I feel like your person is very confused. Um, but you are going to receive some direct communication about this person or from this person. Okay? You are. And there could be there could be some sadness and some tears over whatever it is that you hear because this is your side and this is tears. This is this is this is. But whatever whatever information that or message that you receive is going to help you to move forward, okay? It is. It's going to help you to let it go. It's going to help you to stop going down that path. It's going to, it's, it, this is a dead end, okay? It's going to make you realize that this is a dead end, okay? 
So you are dealing with a very manipulative uh, third party by the looks of things. They're controlling your person. And I think that, uh, I mean, the Ten of Wands is overwhelmed. And this is trying too hard. You may be trying really, really hard to... Um, release this person but you've had a hard time doing so what is going on here the world we have a major completion your person is going through a lesson this is a life lesson they're learning some sort of lesson right now they're they're about to complete this lesson whoever it is they're about to complete this this life lesson okay um, and this life lesson that they are learning is going to cause their evolution. There's going to be a change of residence with whoever it is that you asked for. Okay. They are going to become free because this is freedom. Freedom. They've learned something. They're going to become free of this person. So there's going to be a completion in your person's life. This could be a sudden departure. The two of wands reversed. I feel like your person has been weighed down and it's caused you to be weighed down by this manipulative individual. You're dealing with an individual that is very, very controlling, melodramatic. And I don't think, I think it's your person's third party. Could be a mother, could be an ex, could be another woman who I don't know. Whoever this person is, this person is very, very, very manipulative. Only think, very selfish. So the third party, and, and maybe it's the person you were thinking about. I'm not sure. Could be. Could be. This person is uh, naive. Okay, and maybe your person is naive. Maybe they just don't see. They don't see that they're dealing with an enemy. There's that whoever you're dealing with is dealing has an enemy. This person pretends that they are their friend. They pretend that they care, but they're not. Okay, there's no care in these cards over here. There isn't no care. This is this is some sort of um, controlling situation that has to do with passion or um, lust. Two of Pentacles. There's going to be a change. And it's interesting. Didn't we? We had this a minute ago. It was reversed. There is going to be a change. There is going to be a realignment. Okay? There's, there's higher powers at work that are going to realign this person's life. Okay? These, these, these uh, universal energies are working behind the scenes right now on your person. That's what I see. Um, there is definitely going to be a change. There's balance is going to be brought back. Okay. Whoever you're dealing with is really struggling to make a decision. Okay. They are, they're struggling to make a choice, but the universe, this is a universe card sees it. They see that this person is overwhelmed. They see that this person is, is holding on, or they see that you're holding on. Somebody is holding on to an unhealthy situation and there's going to be a completion. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a phase. It's over. And it was something that really affected you and this person. It affected both of you in a very big way. That cycle is over. Whatever is about to happen is going to break. This is freedom. It is. It is. It's going to break you free from this uh, heart-wrenching saga, whatever it's been, okay? And you may be dealing with a Capricorn, because remember, I saw that earlier, uh, that where we had that devil card, all is not as it seems. Um, there's going to be a change. This cycle is about to end with this person, this person that is very controlling and manipulative. There's going to be a loss with the Five of Cups. That is a loss. It's a separation. It's crying. Crying over the loss. There's sadness. So Five of Cups is a separation. And we have an individual that has been focused on the third party. You see the three cups down there. This person has been not realizing that there's a better opportunity for love someplace else. But I feel like they are going to see because the world is moving forward. It really is. There's going to be a change in residence, a change in circumstances. 
this is this is a conflict of some sort an unexpected conflict you need to be careful you need to be careful to not assume do not assume that you know more than you do about this person because the third party because this the third party is very 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 manipulative and you may be naive to it This is an enemy. You have an enemy. You do. This person is a liar and a cheat. But this person is also very sharp. Very mentally sharp. I feel like this person has something up their sleeve. Very tricky. The hangman reverse. Struggling. Struggling, struggling. That is the Hamian reverse is refusing to let go. Obsessed with control. Your person that you are asking about is being controlled by another person. And they can't see it. They can't see it. There's big egotism here. Okay, the Hamian reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. We have somebody that has a really big ego. It could be your person. Or it's the third party. They're causing whoever you're asking about to miss an opportunity for love. I don't know who this person is, but they are such a liar. They lie. They lie about you. Very, very much about getting their own way. This is this is an individual that is very superficial, self-righteous. They're maybe they might they must have some sort of sex appeal or something. But either way, this cycle is going to end. This chapter, this phase is going to end. For whoever you asked for it. Whatever. There's going to be an ending. Okay. The world is the ending. It's the end. Okay. And there's going to be a separation. Your person may, may come crying to you. May have some sort of regrets. You notice the eyes are covered here that they didn't see who they were dealing with. You're going to receive a message that uh, probably hurts, okay? Death. Death. So this is the end. This is the end. The death is a profound change. Destruction. A transition. An ending that leads to a new beginning. This is a separation or a loss. Whoever you asked about is about to experience a major life change. They're an ending with the world card and the death card. This is a major ending. That is going to change their life. There's going to be tears shed. There is definitely. Let's talk about this side for a second over here. This is the death of a person or idea. It is. And remember I said dead end a couple times. There's a dead, dead end here. Something is coming to an end. This is tears. This is a rejection. This is, this is uh, uh, the end of a painful situation. It really is. King of Swords reverse. You may you may get angry. You may get angry. You may get upset. You may withdraw. You may you may get really mad. This may have to do with a father or an absent father. This is powerless as well. It's like there's nothing you can do to change it. It's out of your control. And you may not have been seeing it clearly. This is lack of clarity. You, because remember, I said, be careful that you, you don't assume. You may not have been seeing clearly exactly what was going on. Now, this person is very forceful. 
They may have been using blackmail against your person, you know, with something, some kind of blackmail. But anyway, it's all about to come to an end, so get ready for that. Get ready for that. This baggage is about to be dropped. It can't be carried anymore. Somebody has been weighed down and they are about, it feels like they're about to collapse. Nine of Cups. So, Nine of Cups, that's a card of, uh, it typically is a card of wish fulfillment, but it comes after the Eight of Cups, after somebody leaves. Somebody leaves a disappointing situation and heads towards wish fulfillment. Somebody is leaving a disappointing situation. And they're heading, they're headed towards happiness. The only reason this person hung on was for the money. The per your person hung on to this witch was for money. But it's all about to end. Get prepared to uh, hear about it. Good luck.